we got an away trip to the Tractor Boys. Hi guys and welcome to this video. If you like, share and subscribe to the channel, I would much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the content. If you hit that notification bell, it'll let you know when videos go live or when I start a live stream. I start a live streaming on a Sunday. We're doing Euro Truck Simulator 2 video, driving from Ipswich to Sheffield when they, uh, to Sheffield even. And just talking about the game. And if you want more Sheffield Wednesday content, listen to the Talking Wednesday podcast out every Tuesday at 9am on all podcast platforms of choice and on Death Thursday Boxer's YouTube channel at 5pm. So we are going to be going against an Ipswich team who have finally picked up a win for them. They currently sit in 20th place. and But you kind of had the feeling that they picked this win up and then it'll be like, right, you're going to play Wednesday. And it'll be like, oh... God, this is not what we want. We're currently in 13th place. And it's not where we want to be, but we're at the same points if we that we have when we first got really uh, promoted out of League One. So let's have a look at the form guide here. If I can just get rid of this advert. So it's which are in 19th place in the form guide. They have got a record of three losses, two draws and one win. The win being their last one. We have a record of three wins, two losses, one draw. Now we need to start turning that draw into win now and start getting back to where where we were at the start of the thing. Now, I'm going to test this this time because I tried this in uh, the community section as I did a community post on this uh, recently. So I thought I'd put it in the video. So you've got Bailey Peacock file in there and we had Hunt and Palmer either side with Iortha and Dunkley. Now, personally, I think you take Dunkley out, you put Hook back in there and you put Adoniran and Byers here. But that's not what we did, personally. That's what I would do anyway. Or Longo and Adoniran there, once Longo fit. And then we had it being Bannon, Sadipo, Berahino, Lee Gregory. But Berahino, you could also switch Bannon there and Berahino there and do that instead but I thought this worked really well at the weekend at times and we looked good at times going forward so especially on the um it might not be left on here one we looked really good with Shadipo going forward he was causing their defenses so many problems and cutting inside which was great and seeing him get that pace and getting getting defended was fantastic to see but in all, the reason why this didn't work is that once they scored their goal, the back four, when that goal went in, you had the whole situation where he went to save it here, got beaten, and then everybody scrambled here and they knocked it in. That's where we need to improve massively. But yeah, so let's see what happens with the formation. Um I like Dunkley as a centre-back. I do, but at times I think we overcomplicate it in the back instead of just getting rid of it. Sometimes we're trying to play out from the back when we need to be just rock knocking it into row Z and trying to build further up the pitch. But we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting to see what more does here. But that's the idea that I've got going with this. Um, if you like this idea with the formations of well-being put in the video, please let me know. And we might do a live stream where we talk about what other formation people think they like to see. But at the end of the day, we need to get a win to just get back on winning waves, really. But the problem with Ipswich starting to pick up points, they might want to pick up on that and roll with that as well. So let's see what happens. Hopefully, we'll get three points away. Safe journey for everyone going down there. And let's hope we just come back with all three points.